Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Phoenix, and today I'm going to show you guys how I set up my UI in Black Desert Online. This was a requested video, so I hope that you guys do enjoy it. And if you do, don't forget to leave a like, consider subscribing to the channel, and hit that notification bell to get notified when new videos go live. I did attempt to record this video a couple days ago, however, with the new patch notes and us having now 20 skill cooldown slots, it uh, nullified some of the information that I gave you guys in the previous recording, so here I am doing it again. I hope this gives you guys some more up-to-date info on the UI in BDO. For the rest of this video, I am going to have my face camera off so that you guys can see the UI more clearly and better pay attention to the little details. Let's get started. All right, so here we are, and this is my current UI. I have all of my skill cooldowns like this. My health bar is here. I don't have this widget, and I don't have my tooltip. So let's go over, over how I made all of that happen. So the first thing you're going to do is head into settings. You're gonna go into general, and you're gonna go into quality of life. And we do want to make sure that this quick slot uh, is on. So we wanna make sure that each quick slot is separated, and the reason for this is simple and more pertaining to before the patch notes however it is still going to help you have a little bit more uh, customization options and ability to move these quick slots individually place them where you would like them and that sort of fun stuff so once you've hit uh, the quick slot you'll hit apply confirm and we'll go into edit ui I'll load in preset one and I will make sure that everything has been reset as I assume this is what it looks like when you first log into the game. I don't remember, it's been a while, but this is what I am going to be working with. So we'll head back into our edit UI and it's worth mentioning that all of this red means that you cannot move it. You can toggle it on and off, but you won't be able to move it. So the first thing I'll do is I'm going to toggle this function button off and I'll toggle this game tips off. So the reason I do that is because it gets rid of all of that messy UI here and with the new update, they have that other one over here that's like a pull out menu that you can get all of um, the NPCs at. But just to show you guys what I do instead, instead I have went over here to this find NPC magnifying glass and I've assigned a hotkey and the way you do that is by holding Alt LMB, right? So Alt LMB brings you to this setting. It's a quick hotkey setting. And you'll go ahead and press this button and choose one of the uh, white ones to assign it to that you will use in combination with Alt. I chose M because it is easier for me to press. However, Alt N might make a little bit more sense as N for NPC, <laughs> right? But yeah, so I just did Alt M. It works for me. So just pick something that you will remember and that will work for you. So yeah, once you've done that, we'll go and toggle that back off. The game tips are off and everything else that I don't turn off will stay where it's at. The mini map, the location and time, those are useful. Only turn them off if you don't care or if you're in a grind spot on the zone. But yeah, from there we'll head and click custom HP bar. So the reason we wanna do that is because what that will do is it will take this giant HP bar and it will bring it down here so it's easier for you to see, or I guess better, more visually appealing for you to see. We'll go back into the UI and I will drag my HP bar up a little higher. If you guys do want a little bit more precision when organizing your UI, you can hit this show grid button and then you can align it exactly where you want it, exact pixels even, but I don't care so I'm going to leave that off. From there, I'll take my Black Spirit's Rage, I'll move it right underneath my HP bar. And the reason that I do this is because I have a hard time seeing my Black Spirit's Rage and even thinking about it, knowing when it's ready to use. So I keep it in the middle of my screen to give myself a little bit more information as I am farming or grinding. So the PvP option over here will also be turned off. I don't believe you need it as when you are in pvp mode you do have that red splatter next to your name so that's going to be more than enough i don't think you need to have a widget there showing you that you're in pvp the buff list i'll move over here i like to have my buff list over here on the right hand side as it is easier for people on stream to see which buffs i have as well as myself some people do like to have it up in the top left hand corner or the top right i think bottom left looks much neater and that's where i'm going to keep mine but you can feel free to move the buff list and move any of the stuff actually around wherever you prefer from there, I'll take my kill notification. I'll move it on top of my buff list. I obviously don't want them to overlap. I just want to be able to see if I have ever killed anybody and um, when, right? 
The skill guide option is very useful for beginning players, however as you get more into your character and knowing what skills to use, this is going to become redundant for you, so if you do need to use it feel free to keep it on, but if you are more familiar with your class go ahead and turn that off completely, you don't need to see it. Okay. Now let's get into the mount over here. So with the new update, if you move your mount up where I prefer it, it just keeps snapping back there. So what I found is if you hit the auto align slot off, then you move it up to where you want it, and then you hit the auto align slot back on, it will stay where it's at. And the reason I like to do this is because I like to have everything nice and tidy up here. When the mount uh, widget is a little bit lower, there's a bit of a gap there, so I just keep it you know, right underneath this, it's much easier to see and a cleaner UI. Okay, so once you've done the mount, go ahead and leave the platoon and party alone. They will activate when you're in a platoon or party and they won't overlap like this because you won't be in a platoon and a party at the same time, right? So you'll just keep it just like that. Now this brings us to the most important part of organizing your UI, and that is going to be your skill cooldown slots. As I mentioned earlier, there are now 20 of them. There used to only be 10, so what I would do in the past is I would go ahead and use these extra um, quick slots and make sure I put my quick slotted skills in here, and then I would go ahead and move them around right next to the cooldown so that way i could keep an eye on cooldowns if i had more than 10. but now we have 20 which i think should be more than enough for every other class out there however if you don't feel like it's enough for you you can go ahead and use that quick slot method i just mentioned Okay, the first thing we want to do is turn off this skill cooldown right here. And the reason we want to turn this off is because as you are using the skills, as you are grinding or in PvP, you'll see that your skills will come off and then on cooldown and then it will just mess up with the whole thing. You'll have skills jumping around and moving around everywhere. So it can get very confusing. So what you want to do is you're going to want to turn on your skill cooldowns that you want to use. And I'm going to turn on these three just to show, I turn on these four just to show you guys what it looks like and how you can assign skills to it. So I'll go ahead and save my preset one and here there are my skills that have already been assigned. But the way you would do that is you would open up your skill menu, I press K, go into skill cooldown slot down here and then assign whatever skill cooldown you would like, or whatever skill you would like in that cooldown slot. So this is what I have available for me. And then you can go ahead, head back into your UI, and then you can organize them however you want. For this part, I do sort of recommend having this uh, auto align on so everything looks a little neater, but if you don't want it, you can go ahead and move it around however you want, right? So from there, I'll go ahead and get into how I like to um, align my skills. And the way I do this is by my combo. So when I go ahead and start my combo, this skill comes off. Yeah. So these are from the last UI that I loaded in. I'll go ahead and get rid of those. But yeah, so these are the skill combos. This is the way it goes, just like this and like that. And as you can see, it goes all the way down. Over here, I have my grab and my phoenix dive, my quick escape. So I like to know when those are off cooldown. So that is why I put them directly in the middle up above my health bar. Just find a way that flows for you guys and for your skills so that you can understand your skill cooldowns and know them much easier. All right, guys, I hope that was an entertaining video and gave you guys some information that you may, not, may or may not have had previously before. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.